Come early spring, it's getting green. Fisher on the bed. And hear those turkeys gobble. It's ringing in my head. The winter rides the bass boat. Here comes another year. Yeah, we command the outdoors round here. Oh, we. Hi, I'm Kevin Reese. I'm here with my friend Jerry Reese with Redneck Boot Outdoors here in Kearns, Texas. He's going to show us the proper way to paper tune a bow according to bow tech standards. This is something that a lot of people have questions on. A lot of people don't do it right, and so uh, Jerry's going to show us how to do it right. All right, folks, since Kevin actually shoots fobs on his arrows, what we're going to do is we're going to paper tune his bow. We're going to bare shaft tune his bow. So it's a little bit uh, unorthodox compared to someone who uses feathers or veins. But uh, to, to get a true arrow flight with a fob, you really need to take in a uh, bear shaft tune your insanity, your invasions, your destroyers, and so on like that. And you want to start out the, is the first arrow. You're going to start out about five feet away from the target. All right, folks, you can see right here, this is our entrance point. It's the roundest point and we have a one inch left tear. We have nothing up and down. That right there will tell you that you don't have any issues with your draw stops not being timed correctly. So we just have a slightly left tear right here. I'm gonna pull this arrow out real quick. You can go to Botex website and they actually have a paper tuning segment that shows you what to do when you have different tears. I'm gonna tell you, but there's a more in depth video that you can watch on Botex website. On an invasion, an insanity, an, a destroyer, insanity CPXL, um, any bow that has overdrive binary cams, you can take and yoke tune with. So at this point, since I had a left tear, I'm going to adjust only the left side of the yokes. I'm going to add one and a half twist evenly to the top and bottom left side of the yokes. I'm going to do that and we'll be right back to shoot through paper. Alright guys, we've taken and we've added a one and a half even twist to the top and bottom left side of the yoke. We're going to see what that's done to us through paper. As you can see, it's taken almost every bit of the left away. And for bare shaft, that's actually, that's pretty good. That's very acceptable for bare shaft. A slight down, I'm talking a sixteenth of an inch, but uh, now when you put that fob on there, it's going to fly perfect. You just want to make sure you have no left or right. Take the left or right out and you have no really up and down. When you put the fob on, it'll fly straight. And that's how you tune the overdrive cam system. If it would have been the opposite, if you would have had a right tear, you would reverse the steps and only adjust the right sides of the yokes. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this tip about uh, paper tuning your bows. I know a lot of people had questions about it. Hopefully this answers some questions. If you have more questions, especially about uh, paper tuning Bowtech bows, you can visit bowtecharchery.com or give Jerry a call or email him at redneckbootoutdoors.com. His uh, contact information is on the website. And if you're in North Central Texas around Kearns, uh, stop by and visit Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. You bet, bud. Come early spring, it's getting green. Fisher on the bed, and hear those turkeys gobble. It's ringing in my head. The winter rides the bass boat, here comes another year.